Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Right, before we get into this video, let me apologise for two things. Number one, there's a fan in my room, so if you can hear a random, like, noise, it's because of the fan. I am dying because it's so hot at the moment in London. And without that fan, I would not be able to function, so sorry about that. And number two, obviously, I will probably look sweaty as well, because like I said, it's like 35 degrees today. It's the hottest it's ever been, apparently, in London. So like help me anyway now that that's out of the way i thought today might be a good time for me to talk to you about my disney world plans because i am going back to disney world uh next month like literally in just over a month me and my friend eddie are going to be on our way to disney world florida for my second time this year which is crazy i'm a very lucky girl and this time again i was kind of in charge of planning everything as in i was the one who did our fast passes and our dining reservations however obviously eddie had a lot of input as well it's just i was the one who did them because i was the one who booked the trip it's not something that i'm used to still i'm still like oh i don't know how to plan things it just doesn't come naturally to me you know for some people being a planner and organizer is just natural i hate planning things i absolutely hate it for me planning and organizing things just isn't fun like i'd rather just go to a disney park and see where my legs take me but obviously with disney world you can't do that because if if you did that you wouldn't be able to get on anything because all the fast buses would be gone so i think i did a decent job and um yeah i thought i'd share my plans with you and see what you guys think if any of you guys are there as well whilst i'm there it might be a good opportunity for you guys to see which parks i'm going to be in and stuff on which day so yeah let's get straight to it okay so we fly out to florida on the 29th of august 2018 which is exactly one month after my birthday i was born on the 29th of july so it's just a cute little fact that a month after my birthday i'm going to be on my way to florida and the way we booked it is that initially we were going to go from the beginning of september and we were only going to go for a week but then a few months after we booked it and we put the deposit down i was like eddie it's going to be your first time properly in disney world and there's going to be loads going on like the halloween parties and stuff like that i don't think a week's going to be enough and i know it's crazy that i actually said that because i've always been an advocate for one week trips to disney world i've always been like two weeks is too much which i still believe it is i think two weeks is way too much but i think around 10 days is like the optimum amount for a disney world holiday and that's basically how long we're going for so after we booked the initial trip for a week we ended up adding a couple of more days at the beginning of our trip so because of this situation it means that we're actually staying in two different disney resorts which makes me so happy like it's one of those things i wouldn't have done had we not added these extra days but because we booked the extra day separately i thought we might as well stay in a different hotel so on the 29th of august we fly out to florida and <laughs> we're actually staying at disney's art of animation resort which i'm so so excited about of all the value resorts it's always been my favorite in fact i think it just might be one of my favorite hotels that i've seen in disney world just by the looks of it because it just looks so fun i mean ariel's there and you guys know how much i love ariel and obviously just the whole animation factor of it as well i just think it looks really cool obviously i've not actually been there yet but from what i've seen in pictures and like videos and stuff it looks amazing and i cannot wait to stay there of course when i do go there will be like a full tour of the resort and our room and everything as i always do but yeah we're staying there for a few nights and then on sunday the 2nd of september 2018 we're actually checking out of art of animation and checking in to disney's port orleans resort the french quarter side of it so when i went to disney world for my first ever holiday in 2015 we stayed in port orleans riverside and obviously that was my first ever experience of disney world and i didn't know anything about any of the resorts and my friend rebecca booked that resort because it was the only one of the only resorts that actually allowed five people to stay in the same room and there was five of us on that trip and i i really enjoyed port orleans riverside i thought it was a really good resort very big the food court in it was amazing and it was just really pretty like i really enjoyed it but obviously staying at port orleans riverside meant that our bus went past the french quarter side of the resort as well and i got to see the french quarter side of it on that trip uh, quite often and i was like wow the french quarter side looks amazing apparently the french quarter bit is slightly smaller than the riverside part of it and that's a good thing because hopefully it means less busy as well less people you know less craziness food court's meant to be slightly smaller as well but i've heard good things about it so if you've stayed at the french quarter side of port orleans let me know and i'm just excited because it means another moderate resort to take it off my list because you know my plan is to one day stay at every single resort in disney world i don't know when it's going to happen it probably won't ever happen but I can still have this plan, you know, in my head <laughs> mentally. All right, so that's for the hotel situation. And we're staying at the Port Orleans Resort French Quarter until the 10th of September 2018. So Monday the 10th, 10th is when we fly back to London. Now let's talk about our dining reservations and fast passes and all that fun stuff. 
So on Wednesday the 29th of August when we get there, obviously we're not going to do anything. We haven't planned on doing anything. I think we're just going to have a look around the hotel resort and stuff and maybe eat something at our resort food court at Art of Animation because I've heard good things about Art of Animation's food court as well. And then Thursday the 30th of August is going to be our first day. Um, and we're going to Magic Kingdom and I haven't actually booked any fast passes because what happened is that when we added those few extra days to the beginning of our holidays we didn't actually book tickets for those few extra days we only booked a hotel so we're gonna have to buy an extra ticket separately for Magic Kingdom for that day and then the rest of those first few days we're not gonna actually go into any other parks we're gonna spend them exploring like Disney Springs and some of the other resorts and stuff like that which I'm really happy about because it means that then later on when we move into Port Orleans French Quarter we don't have to worry about things like Disney Springs or checking out different resorts we can just do parks and Halloween parties and stuff like that anyway we do have a dining reservation though for Thursday 30th of August and that is the Plaza Restaurant Dinner which I believe is in like in the Main Street USA somewhere I don't think I've ever even seen it I mean I probably have seen it but I don't think I've ever paid attention to it but it looked really good you know and both me and Eddie thought it looked like a cute little restaurant so I'm looking forward to trying it then on Friday the 31st of August 2018 we've got a reservation at Trails End Restaurant which is at Fort Wilderness Resort. I'm very excited about this just because I've heard really good things about it and I love meat and apparently you know from what I've seen there's a lot of meat options at Trails End and it's a buffet restaurant as well which is always fun because you know you can eat as much as you want. Also like I said I think we're going to be spending that day checking out different resorts and stuff so it will give us a chance to also just go to Fort Wilderness Resort and have an exploration of the resort. I have actually been to the uh, Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort once before. It was when I went to see the uh, what's the name of that thing? Hoopty do music review uh we went there in march 2017 i believe like, i'm pretty sure it was a fort wilderness lodge resort thing yeah it was and i really love that They're like hoop de do review is one of the best things you can do at disney world in my opinion but obviously they've got two more restaurants there as well one of them is the mickey's backyard barbecue thing and the other one is trails end so i'm looking forward to trying this one out and also just seeing a bit more of the resort as well because like i said in 2017 in march when we went to the hoop de do um a restaurant we didn't have much time to actually have a look at the resort much so that should be fun. Then on the 1st of September 2018, we've got a lunch reservation at Chef Art Smith's Homecoming, which is in Disney Springs. So we're going to probably spend that day mainly just checking out Disney Springs and having a look there and looking at the shops and all that. I have heard incredible things about Chef Art Smith's Homecoming lunch and I really wanted to go in January as well. I think I had actually booked it for January, but we just didn't have time to go. We didn't have enough time to spend too much time in Disney Springs, so we had to cancel it last minute. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it out on this trip. And like I said, let me know in the comments below if you've tried it out before. If you recommend it. Sunday the 2nd of September 2018 is when we move into Disney's Port Orleans Resort French Quarter and this is actually when our tickets officially start as well so we're spending that day in Epcot uh, and we've got fast passes for First and Ever After which I'm so excited about. I'd say it's probably the best ride at the moment in Epcot and then we've got Spaceship Earth don't care about it and then Mission Space again don't care about it but obviously annoyingly with Epcot you can only book like one of the good rides as a fast pass per day which I just it's really annoying because literally there are only about three good rides in Epcot I honestly do not rate any of the attractions in the future world side of Epcot I know like Test Track's there and Test Track is quite fun and Soarin' Soarin' I really enjoyed the first time I went on it but um, like I just find it a bit boring now it's, it's not one of those rides that you can go over and over again and all these stupid rides like Spaceship Earth and Mission Space like I know I'm probably in the minority but I just find them very cringy I really do or like Figment Lord House have mercy figment shout out to my friend marie me and her just like had this thing about figment the ride when we went in january but i just i just really don't like any of the attractions in in future world like i said apart from test track test track's okay but all the other ones i just really cannot be bothered with but like i said because we didn't have any other options i've booked fast passes for them anyway and i think it'll be fun to see eddie experience them and just laugh about them so you know we do have those fast passes as well but like i said the most uh, the one i'm most excited about is obviously frozen ever after and uh, we've got a dinner reservation uh, in the evening at Chef de France, which I'm also very excited about. Both me and Eddie are big fans of French cuisine. We like good steak and chips, so it should be good to try that out in the France Pavilion in Epcot. And also, of course, the Food and Wine Festival is going on as well whilst we're there, which is very exciting. So hopefully we'll grab something from one of the Food and Wine um, stands for lunch and then have that as dinner. I'm just so excited. The best thing about Epcot really is the food, let's be real. So then we get to Monday the 3rd of September 2018 and we're going to be spending that day in um, Animal Kingdom, my favourite park in Disney World. I love it so much. 
and we've got oh my god I'm so excited so we've got fast passes for Avatar Flight of Passage which I only got to go on once back in January and I loved it like honestly I'd say it's probably the best Disney ride I've ever been on it was just amazing like even if you don't like Avatar it doesn't matter even if you don't care about Avatar like I'm not the biggest fan of Avatar I saw it once when it first came out but I don't necessarily love it but I was still so amazed by the effects and just the whole ride as a whole like, oh, it was so good and I cannot wait to experience it again we've got lunch book that Yak and Yeti's which is great my, one of my favorite restaurants in Disney World it's gonna be my third time going there so that tells you something like I obviously enjoy it enough to want to go for a third time and I think Eddie will like it as well then we've got fast buses for Dinosaur and Expedition Everest in the afternoon which again really enjoy both of them Animal Kingdom is just such a great park it's got some great rides great restaurants great food and great character meets as well that's why it's my favorite Tuesday the 4th of September 2018 we are going to be back at Magic Kingdom and we've got a breakfast reservation in the morning at Cinderella's Royal Table. Um, this is because I think Eddie really wanted to just experience going to the inside the castle and I did um, dinner, we did lunch there I think uh, in March of 2017. Uh, when I went and I wasn't the biggest fan of the food I wasn't the biggest fan of the experience to be honest like it was cool to be inside the castle and it was cool to meet some of the princesses but they didn't spend too much time with us and I just didn't think it was worth the hype and worth the two credits because it is two credits for lunch I, I hope it's only one credit for breakfast I might be wrong in any case I just wasn't the biggest fan of it so it's not something that I want to still do again however because Eddie's never been before I think he'd like to just be in the castle and see what it's like and I think breakfast is a good compromise and I've heard really good things about the breakfast situation actually so again if you've done breakfast at Cinderella's table let me know how it compares to lunch and dinner and then after that we've got a meet Tinkerbell as one of our fast passes so that's gonna be fun after meeting loads of princesses we're gonna be going to meet a fairy as well or a pixie and then in the afternoon time we've got Seven Dwarfs Mine Train which one of the best rides in Magic Kingdom and then Splash Mountain I've booked Splash Mountain for like afternoon time as well around three o'clock which hopefully will be a great time because it's going to be very hot potentially I mean that's just what Florida is normally like especially in the afternoon time so it'll be a good time for us to get on a water ride and get wet and hopefully cool down a bit and sorry about that text noise also that day in the evening we've got um, California Grill reserved at Disney's Contemporary Resort which again so so excited about it is a two credit um, meal and I actually had this booked in January as well but again I had to cancel it because we just didn't have enough time for it um, I have booked it at a time where hopefully it would coincide with the fireworks in Magic Kingdom so hopefully we'll get to watch the fireworks from the restaurant but like I said again with California Grill I've heard such good things and when I had to cancel it in January a lot of you guys were like oh my god Sam why did you cancel it like it's, it's amazing you need to go and so I, I booked it again and I am gonna go this time round uh, it's gonna be amazing like I just I don't I've never actually properly been to the Contemporary Resort I've gone past it on the monorail but I've never got off uh, so it's gonna be just good to have a look at that as well um, and I think you know California Grill is gonna be posh food I'm not the biggest fan of posh food generally but it's gonna have steaks there and I've heard really good things. Again, leave comments down below if you've been to California Grill, but I think it'll be a nice little evening treat for us. And I, I just, the views just look amazing from that restaurant. So then we get to Wednesday, the 5th of September, 2018. And we are going to be in Disney's Hollywood Studios that day. Uh, we've got fast buses for Slinky Dog, uh, which I'm very excited about because Toy Story Land has just recently opened and I am so excited. Like, I'm so, so excited about this. I mean, obviously, we do already have a Toy Story Land in Disneyland Paris, which is my favourite resort of all time. But it'll be exciting to experience a new Toy Story Land and they've got some new rides there as well, like new kinds of Toy Story rides that aren't the same as the ones in Paris. So that the Slinky Dog Dash thing is like a mild roller coaster from what I can gather. And I'm very excited that I managed to get Fast Pass for it because I'd heard that it's very hard to get Fast Passes because they've only just opened it. And then I've got, we've got Tower of Terror, of course, uh, in the uh, like one o'clock kind of time, uh, which I'm also very excited about. I'm excited to go on it with Eddie because I think both me and Eddie really enjoy Tower of Terror and the Tower of Terror ride in Disney World is quite different to the one in Paris. So it just should, it should just be fun. I love Tower of Terror, who doesn't? And then we've also got Rock and Roller, which is great. I mean, love it. I love some thrill rides and that's what's gonna happen in Disney Season Hollywood Studios that day. Then for dinner, we've got the Sci-Fi Dining Theatre Restaurant booked, uh, which I'm excited about. My friends Jane and Joe actually went there in March last year. One of the days when we were in Hollywood Studios, me and my friend Rebecca decided to go to the 50s Primetime Diner, which I absolutely loved. And then my friends Jane and Joe went to Sci-Fi Diner and they said really good things about it. And obviously at the time, my priority was 50s Primetime Diner, but now that I've done that, I wanna try some new ones. And um, yeah, Sci-Fi Dining Theatre just, just looks really cool. I mean, who doesn't wanna just sit there, eat some burgers and watch some films? So that's what we're doing in the evening and then we've got obviously Fantasmic in the evening which I'm so excited about. I think both me and Eddie 
uh, just are so excited to just experience Phantasmic together because Eddie has been to Disney World before but not to all the parks he's only ever been to Disney's Hollywood Studios so I just find that really interesting but I think when he went he was a teenager and he was only really interested in like thrill rides um, and he had like they had to choose one of the parks and they decided to go to Disney's Hollywood Studios which makes sense but obviously that meant that he also got to watch Phantasmic so it's going to bring him back memories and also I mean Phantasmic for me is my favourite nighttime show in Disney World I don't really care about any of the other ones that much to be fair I think Phantasmic is the only really good one so that's going to be really really fun then we get to Thursday the 6th of September <laughs> 2018 and we're going to be back in uh, Animal Kingdom we've got Kilimanjaro Safaris booked in the morning we've got another fast pass for Flight of Passage which again I feel so lucky about because I just I just know that Eddie as well when he goes on it that first time he's going to be like I want to go on it again and I'm glad that we've got the chance to do it one more time um, and then yeah we've got Cali River Rapids in the afternoon again because again I'm trying to be clever I'm like afternoon time is going to be very very hot and we, we're probably going to want to cool down somehow so Cali River Rapids we're going to get wet and that's going to be a fun time and then in the evening um, that day we've got Chef Mickey's Fun Time Buffet at uh, the Contemporary Museum Resort booked and this is one of the few meals I'm not sure if we're actually going to go to but I've booked it anyway just so we have something if we feel like it. I don't know how I feel about Chef Mickey's, I've never been to it before um, it just sounds like a typical character meal so if you guys have been let me know if it's worth checking it out or if you think I should cancel it and try something else maybe in another resort that evening because I feel like whatever restaurant we go to that evening is going to be one in a, in a resort rather than in a park. Then we get to Friday the 7th of September 2018 and we are starting our day in Epcot that day. We are gonna go on test track first, then we've got Living with the Land. <sighs> I mean all these stupid attractions, like who even designed them and why, please? So again, a bunch of random fast passes like that one, Living with the Land, and then we've got the Seas with Nemo and Friends, which to be fair is, is alright, it's like a decent ride. Uh, we've got lunch at Nine Dragons, um, which is in China, in the China Pavilion, which I'm very excited about. Both me and Eddie are fans of Chinese food, and I've never had any of the like food from China, from China's pavilion, if that makes sense. I've been to China before, I've eaten food in actual China, like the country, but I've never eaten anything from the uh, Chinese pavilion. So I'm looking forward to going to one of the sit-down meals and seeing what that's like. And then, that evening is when we're hoping to go to the Halloween party in Magic Kingdom. So hopefully after we have our lunch in Epcot, we're just going to go back to our resort and get ready and then head over to Magic Kingdom for the Halloween party, which I'm very excited and nervous about. I'm not going to lie. I did the Halloween soiree in Disneyland Paris a couple of years ago in 2016 and it was really good. Like I had a great time, but it was so, so busy that I just... I don't know, it wasn't something that I feel like I want to experience anytime soon again. And I've heard that the ones in Florida can be equally as busy, if not more, and like crazier as well. Longer queues, more people obviously. And I'm not the biggest fan of crowds. I really am not. Like, I don't like crowds. I mean, who does, to be honest? But um, I just don't enjoy them. So I'm worried. So if you've got any tips for the Halloween party, let me know. <laughs> let me know how to survive it. Obviously, I'm excited as well because I want to meet all these rare characters. I'm excited to meet the Seven Dwarfs and just like see the parade as well. I've heard great things about the parade and like the fireworks and stuff. So I'm looking forward to it, of course, but I'm a little bit, not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous as well. Also, if you have any suggestions as to who I can go as for the Halloween party, let me know because I've been thinking about it for the past month or so and I just cannot decide who I want to go as. So just leave suggestions down below because I'm struggling and I'm literally stressing out about this and I, sh I shouldn't, I, it should be a fun thing. I should be like, I wanna go as this person and I'm gonna make it work. Whereas at the moment I'm just like, Lord have mercy, who am I gonna go as? Anyway, we then get to Saturday the 8th of September 2018 and um, we are starting up our day at the Disney's Boardwalk Resort which is very exciting. Um, we've got a breakfast at the Bon Voyage Adventure which is uh, one of the newer um, breakfast available and it's the one where you get to meet Eric and Ariel, you know Prince Eric and my favourite princess Ariel and I think Rapunzel's there and Flynn. <sighs> Lynn. I've heard really good things about this breakfast and I've watched quite a lot of vlogs on it as well and everyone seems to love it so I'm looking forward to trying it out. Then we're heading over to Disney's Hollywood Studios again and we've got Toy Story Mania booked which I love. It's probably my favourite ride actually at the moment anyway in Hollywood Studios. We've got Star Tours booked and we've got another fast pass again for Tower of Terror which is great, you know, who doesn't love Tower of Terror? Like I said, Tower of Terror is always great. And we haven't actually got anything booked in the evening in terms of food but we might book something, I don't know yet. Uh, we'll see how we feel. We might just grab a quick service meal and just have that be our dinner. 
Um, and then on Sunday the 9th of September 2018 we are back in Magic Kingdom obviously as I always seem to do. I always like to start my Disney World trip in Magic Kingdom and end it in Magic Kingdom as well if I can. So I always have my first full day spent in Magic Kingdom and my last full day spent in Magic Kingdom as well. So yeah we're in Magic Kingdom, we've got Meet Rapunzel and Tiana booked as a fast pass, we've got Space Mountain booked and we've got Thunder Mountain booked. Um, I'm not, like I said, I've said that before as well, I'm not the biggest fan of most of the rides in Magic Kingdom. I feel like a lot of the rides that Magic Kingdom has are very similar to the ones in Paris anyway and if I had to compare them I honestly prefer the ones in Paris, like It's a Small World I think is a lot better in Disneyland Paris, Pirates of the Caribbean a lot better in Disneyland Paris, Thunder Mountain a million times better in Disneyland Paris. So I just, I'm not too bothered about the rides that they have in Magic Kingdom but I obviously still like Magic Kingdom, like it's very magical. I love the character meets, I love the shows that they've got, I love the movie Shake It Parade, I cannot wait to experience that with Eddie. But yeah, I'm just not a big fan of the rides that much so that's why most of the um, fast passes are actually for meeting weeks to be fair but obviously we can always get more fast passes as well on the day or we'll change them if we feel like if, we, if Eddie wants to like try something that I didn't think he might want to we can add those and obviously we're going to watch the fireworks in the evening happily ever after one last time because that's how I like ending my last evening in Disney World and then on Monday the 10th uh, of, of September 2018 is obviously a half day for us because we're flying back in the in the afternoon but we're gonna, at the moment we've got fast buses uh, in Animal Kingdom so our leaving day has always been a case where I've never really known what to do with it and the past three times that I've been to Disney World I've done different things like it's been a case where whoever I've been with like we've just done our own thing for some of that day because it's our last half day it's our last chance to do any last bits and bobs that we want to do so I always book fast buses just in case but it's not a case that we definitely need to stick to them so we might not even go to Animal Kingdom that day it just depends on what both me and Eddie feel like we still want to do we might stay separate for that day and just kind of do our, our own bits and bobs um, but yeah we do have three fast passes though in Animal Kingdom and the first one's Navi River Journey which is a ride that I've actually not been on yet when I went in January we didn't go on it we had a fast pass for it but I didn't hear the best things about it so we didn't end up actually going on it because we wanted to do something else uh, but I do still want to try it out and we've got Expedition Everest again and also meet your favourite Disney pals at Adventure Outpost so like a character meet so not bothered if we'd miss them and decide something else but we do have them and I don't mind if that ends up being our last uh, park as well because I love Animal Kingdom so we'll just see how it goes on our last day and unfortunately in the afternoon of the 10th of September we are flying back to London but yes that is it for our plans for Disney World September slash a bit of August 2018. Leave comments down below with any opinions, anything you want to say about the, our plans or recommendations that you have. If you think there's something that I really shouldn't miss and I haven't actually listed or any tips for the Halloween party, like I said, anything you want. I'd be very, very grateful to hear your thoughts. And yeah, I cannot wait. I can't believe how quickly it's come round. Like it's just over a month now until the fly out. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh,